Born in 1976 and growing up with only three channels of public television, it really wasn't until the 1990s that I came into my full awareness of the wonders of television. I was fortunate enough to have been a teenager when programs like Knight Rider, Airwolf, MacGyver, and in 1993, a very cool program called Sequest DSV hit the air. Set in the far future of 2018, I guess we've got some catching up to do next year, it was a program that revolved around the last unexplored frontier on Earth, the sea. Now the submarine itself was a technological marvel, originally designed by the military and put out on loan to the UEO for scientific research and peacekeeping. Upon its completion, Sequest was supposed to be the largest submarine and deep submergence vehicle ever constructed, measuring 1,007 feet or 307 meters from stem to stern with a crew of 88 military and 124 science personnel. Now up till now, the only model available of this awesome boat was the 1,600 scale monogram kit. Today that kit goes for around 70 bucks if you can find one. Now, it was a pretty good offering for a plastic kit of the time, but it had some inaccuracies, none of which I cared about much when I got that kit years and years ago, of course. Later, I found out about a very talented model builder out of the UK by the name of Andrew Cox, who built a massive 1/100th scale, that's about 10 feet long, by the way, Sequest model back in 1994. Now, I've been in touch with him and got the impression he got close, but never really launched the boat. Without accurate plans and going off screen grabs, he managed to put together a beautiful representation. A while back, I had the good luck to be able to strike up a conversation with a good friend who had access to the original filming maquette that was used to create the digital files for the TV series. You do not get any more accurate than that. Now, the maquette is basically a wooden carving of half of the boat. Much like they did, we took that part and had it laser scanned at high resolution. From that, we created a beautiful, 3D model of the Sequest from which I could begin the process of crafting a physical hull. Settled on a scale of 1 300 scale which is a standard modeling scale and one that yields a boat with an overall length of 40.25 inches overall. This gives sufficient beam to allow room for watertight compartments, batteries, pumps and anything else that I'm going to need for RC operation. So now that I have your attention I'd like to present to you the completed and available model of Sequest DSV in 1 300th scale. You can see the major components of the kit here. It's cast in white resin. All of the detail parts are here to model the boat with either open or closed EVA access portals. And it also comes with a 1 300th scale speeder to go along with the boat. I'm happy to say that the entire kit is available for purchase right now off of my website at www.nautilusdrydocks.com. Well, there you have it guys. I hope you enjoyed the model of this beautiful submarine from Sequest DSV. If you have any questions or comments, by all means, hit me up at any time at bob at rc-sub.com. Visit my website for this and many other exciting projects in the world of RC submarines. Thanks for joining me again and I hope to see you soon.